Hi, I'm Anurag Agarwal, a fellow in engineering at Emmanuel College. Today I would like to say a bit about my research. Let's start with a journey. Let's say you are at an airport and you are singled out for one of those special scans for which you have to stand with your hands apart uh, and the machine goes swish swish and it can tell if you're carrying any dangerous items. Now imagine that it can tell if you're carrying any dangerous diseases. Our research is motivated by that vision. As a first step towards achieving our goal, we have built a device to screen for valvular heart disease. Valvular heart disease kills nearly 3 million people worldwide every year. To put it into perspective, COVID-19 so far has killed 300,000 people this year. That's 10 times lower than the people killed by valvular heart disease. It has a huge burden. And it, the problem is that it's a silent killer. By the time you develop symptoms, the prognosis is worse than advanced stage cancer. Chances of death are 80% within two years. Early screening is the key to getting the right diagnosis and getting timely treatment to avoid untimely death. At the moment, the way you are screened is that you go to your GP for, let's say, a routine checkup, and they put a stethoscope like this one uh, to your heart, and they listen for any unusual sounds. If they hear a murmur, uh, which is indicative of a valvular heart disease, then they refer you for an echocardiogram, uh, which is an ultrasound of the heart, uh, and then you can be picked up uh, for heart disease, valvular heart disease, and get the right treatment. The problem is that doctors are not very accurate at detecting uh, valvular heart disease. Uh, studies have shown that their accuracy is only about 60%. We are solving this problem by making stethoscopes intelligent. I can demonstrate uh, by means of this electronic stethoscope. So I'm going to put it on my chest and record my heart sound. Okay. Now that I can hear my heart sound, I'll start recording it and then I'll beam it on this mobile phone. So you can see this is recording it live. Okay, now that's finished recording, uh, I can show you a few features here. So you see these spikes here? These these are my loved up sounds. So you can see loved up, loved up, loved up, loved up. Uh, and the weird bit that you see here at the end is this is when I was talking to you. Uh, the software can filter that out. So what this is saying is uh, that I've got no murmur uh, and its software is very confident that um, I've got no murmur. So it screened my heart um, and it says uh, that I have a healthy heart. Uh, but in case it said that I didn't, then uh, I could be referred for an echocardiogram uh, and get the right diagnosis. We can use this device uh, to reduce the heavy burden of valvular heart disease. This project would not be possible without Emmanuel College. Uh, the project started with my former PhD student, Ed K, uh, who was a student at Emmanuel. I work very closely with uh, professors Steve Young and Mark Gales, also with Dr. Penny Watson, who is helping us uh, deploy this device in dogs. Uh, I'd also like to thank my current PhD student, um, Andrew McDonald, who wrote the software that I just showed you. Um, even though Andrew is not from Emmanuel College, he's, he's from Clare. A device would be particularly useful in developing countries like India. We are working very closely with uh, Dr. Gary Subnes, uh, who is a cardiologist at KEM Hospital in Mumbai. 
Uh, Girish was a Derek Brewer fellow uh, at Emmanuel earlier this year. I also look forward to working with Dhruv Soni and his family, his sons, Tarun and Nikhil. Uh, they're all alumni of Emmanuel College uh, and also our benefactors. So our project has deep connections with Emmanuel College. We are also working on screening for lung diseases and novel blood pressure measurement devices. Uh, the dream really is uh, to achieve our vision that I shared with you earlier. Thanks very much for listening.